Okay, in this video we're going to use the limit definition of the derivative to find the derivative of a quadratic, specifically f of x is 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. So let's get started. Um, first we need to know what the limit definition says. So it says that f prime of x, so that's the derivative as a function of x, is going to be the limit as h approaches 0, so we're going to have to write that a lot, of f of x plus h minus f of x and then all over h. So that's the difference quotient that you might be familiar with. Um, and I'm kind of color coding things to try to make it a little easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this definition on this function um, to find the derivative. So let's see if we can do that. So f prime of x is, I like to, when I do these problems, just rewrite the limit definition. So it's limit as h approaches 0, and then f of x plus h. The more you say it, the more you write it, the easier it is to remember. So it's the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And now we're going to do some substitution. So limit as h approaches 0, don't forget to write that. As long as you're writing h, you have to keep writing the limit as h approaches 0. So it's the limit as h approaches 0 of, um, we're going to take every x that we see in f of x and we're going to replace it with the quantity x plus h. So the first thing we're doing here is 2 quantity x plus h squared minus 3 quantity x plus h and then plus 2. I like to put that in parentheses so that I remember it's like uh, f of x plus h is its own thing, minus f of x is its own thing, and then all over h. So minus quantity. Um, maybe one of the biggest mistakes I see people make is they forget uh, to distribute the negative to f of x. So I like to put that in parentheses, kind of no matter what it is. And then all of this is over h. And now uh, it just becomes like an algebra problem. So I'm going to expand a lot. So still going to be writing h's, so I still need the limit as h approaches 0. It's going to be uh, 2. I have to expand this, so it's going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then uh, I'm going to distribute negative 3, so minus 3x minus 3h. And then there's still a plus 2. Plus 2. And now we're going to just distribute the negative to everything uh, from f of x. So we get minus 2x squared and uh, plus 3x and minus 2. And then this is all divided by h. Okay, so uh, I'm going to expand more uh, in that like f of x plus h part. So I'll be able to drop some parentheses here. So distribute it 2. So 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared uh, minus 3x minus 3h plus 2. Then minus 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, all divided by h. Uh, I'm obviously out of room, so I'm going to copy pretty much everything over and just kind of keep going. So uh, nothing new here, just copying it. And now I'm going to look through, and at this stage, if everything in the numerator that doesn't have an h doesn't cancel out, so if there's anything that doesn't have an h with it that is still there when I'm done simplifying the numerator, I've done something wrong. Um, so let's see. Uh, the 2x squared and the minus 2x squared are gone. Uh, minus 3x and plus 3x, gone. Plus 2, minus 2, gone. Everything else has an h, so I probably did this right. Um, so I'm going to rewrite it without all those terms. So I still have a 4xh, I still have a 2h squared, I still have a minus 3h, and it's still all divided by h. I can simplify an h out of everything in the numerator, so I'm just going to cancel with the denominator. Limit as h approaches 0, quantity 4x plus 2h minus 3. Okay, at this point, if I let h equal 0, there's no problems. If you look back every step before this, if h was equal to 0, I would have gotten 0 over 0, which means do more work, basically, with limits. Um, but at this point, if I let h equal 0, I actually just get this, 4x plus 2 times 0 minus 3, which is definitely... Um, 4x minus 3. So I know f prime of x is 4x minus 3. Just to remind you, we were finding the derivative of f of x is 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. Um, and there you go. So we found the derivative using the limit definition. We wrote limit as h approaches 0 every time as long as we were going to write an h. Um, and we got the answer. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.